Hey guys, Mighty Gazelle here, back with more reading the My Hero Academia Vigilantes manga. We're in chapter 99, baby, one away from 100. Such a great milestone for this amazing underrated series. And last we left off, Six appeared, and the narrator said this was forever known as Nightmare Night. As we see Six getting ready to summon these Nomu or whatever, we presume they're Nomu. Patrolling the streets. Uh, hopefully they're not just the bomb things. Hopefully they're actually like fighting Nomu. Um, I'm going to take a sip from my Capri Sun pouch. Because I'm still like just trying to hydrate for the day. Um, yeah. I, I'm i so eager to see what happens. Uh, we're definitely nearing the end. Of, this, is the, this is definitely the final kind of big fight of this series. Um, I It could literally... Literally anything could happen in this. And I'm just so eager. Will Knuckle Duster finally make his re, uh, re-entrance, or grand return, I guess is the better way to say it, in this chapter. Let's find out. Chapter, episode 99, Phases. Uh, we get a shot of Six looking incredibly badass, uh, as the cover art for this chapter. Just standing with, overlooking his city as he prepares to wreak mayhem. Operation Anonymous, Phase 1. And it's him staying behind in the silhouette of all the different Nomu wearing the like the trench coats and stuff. Several uh, stimu, stimu, uh, simultaneous electromagnetic, electromagnetic pulse attacks shut off the power and communications in all of Naruhata. So all the cell phones, all the power, it's all it's all down. And all the people are looking at their phones like, what's going on? We cut to Sukuichi and the rest when light and sound are abruptly lost. People are left stunned, unable to act, and it's literally showing all the characters that we just saw in the last chapter. Well done with well done with this, number six. Says this not actual uh o'clock. That's kind of he's hallucinating. Thanks, he says with a little music note, uh six. He's definitely thinking he's pleasing his former uh idol, but he's definitely not. Then comes phase two, says this this ghost image. Block off the major roads with a series of accidents. However, keep in mind that the objective is to simply limit incoming and outgoing traffic. Sure, sure, he says. So no big flashy pileups. I get it. So okay, so yeah, all the all these nomads going around knocking over boxes, smashing cars with like one fist. That's that, that's amazing. This is these trench coated nomus. Freaking funny. Beep beep beep. Like there's there's, there's cars driving through. Another traffic jam, says Ingenium. And it's uh, not just the traffic lights uh, shut down by the blackout. All these accidents, too, are rendering the roads impassable. Uh, so this this is technically, like, the hero's first foray against Nomu, right? Canonically? This is the earliest one that we know of? Because this is before the USJ. Um, if, if they do indeed fight these Nomu, I'm sure they will. And it's... Oh, uh, wait. Uh, I'm beginning to doubt it's a coincidence that comms are also down. Something is strange in the neighborhood of Naruhata, he thinks to himself in his helmet. I love that shot. Phase 3. Cause, double, cause trouble throughout the town. That should be minor stuff too, right? Yes, exactly. So this, the number are just going around smashing windows. I like all casually too. This is so funny. All, all people are looking at him like freaking out. What we aim to create is an overall atmosphere of unease. And they're just clawing cars, like throwing, uh, just, just smashing windows and stuff. Eating food. These are, these Nomu were like the best Nomu ever. They're, they're graffitiing, like, walls. Yep, for sure. Like at the start of a horror movies, when there's an eerie feeling you can't quite put your finger on. Uh, they're just going around tipping over bikes and all that. This is like, this is so amazing. I love these Nomu. It's just... Most no more big, giant, and terrifying, but these ones are just like kind of like mild annoyances, like sh like sh putting a key against a car, scratching it, breaking a window. You know, this is funny. People don't know what's going on and feel helpless, and now they'll be gripped by a vague sense of dread as they look around at all these smashed windows and stuff. Yeah, the people are definitely looking a little bit freaked out here. All until they grow paranoid, jumping at shadows leaving them unable to cooperate and op appropriate action together. The small slice of society will cease to function, having been divided on a psychological level, 
And now everyone's just kind of looking uneasily at each other. Divided, huh? Says Six. Kind of like old Eraser and Koichi. <laughs> yeah, he's and he's as he's looking at him, chase each other right now because Aizawa was still chasing Koichi. I figure they're still playing tag right now, which removes them from the equation. He a little more, a little music note. He's saying this with a brisk tune. Wait, crawler, something's wrong in this town. But maybe I still can't let you catch me. Uh, maybe, but I still can't let you catch me, says Koichi. This girl's riding by on her moped. Huh? What's that flying overhead? The cooler? Uh, oh, no, something lands in front of her car. It looks like a can or a barrel or something. Uh, it's kind of small. It looks like a can. Oh, no, that scooter. It's jumped the curb, says a civilian. Oh, it's it's going toward a... That's about to crash into someone. And both Aizawa and Koichi spring into action and save him. Crawler, on it. They both they both team up. That's great. I love that. Um, let me just quickly make sure it's all recording, right? Yeah, it is. Sorry if the lighting's a little bit weird. I'm still getting used to my new camera. So if I look all red and stuff, I think that's because the contrast is off. Anyway. Um, you good, says Aizawa. S somehow, yeah, as you save the girl that flung, uh, flung off the moped. And Six saw this, and he was like, like, dang it, they work together. <laughs> Can you stand, says Aizawa, to the girl. And she looks okay. Yo, nicely done, crueler, says the people. Let's move your scooter out of the way, he says as he props it up. What's this? Well, aren't they brave and dashing, but teaming up in the end? Not a fan of that. Nope, says Six. A minor setback, number Six, says this image in his head of O'Clock. A racer head in the crawler can do nothing to derail our plan, he says. True enough, but still, says Six. Hey, crueler. You want to tell us what's going on around here? These all these all these people who know the crueler because he roams these he's, he, these are his streets, you know. He's uh, our phones are all dead. And what's with the traffic jams? When's the power coming back? Um, like he's getting bombed all these questions. Oh, you're useless then. I'm totally in the dark, says Koichi. Uh, he can't he can't help him. He doesn't really know what's going on. Aizawa, you there, Scruffy? You're a hero too, right? They're talking about Aizawa. They're calling him Scruffy. One second. I am, but if you're implying that he is too, you should just know he's a. You should know he's just a kid in a costume, so you won't get any answers from him. Wait, wait, is that true, Crueler? Now that's just confusing. Oh, he's talking down about Koichi right now. He's not just a kid in a costume. It's a visual anti baby. You want to give us an explanation then, as I keep talking to Azawa, for all this crap? Until we learn more, you're best off hunkering down somewhere. That's all I can say at this point. Are you kidding? Take some responsibility, man. He's not exactly cut uh, cut out for customer service, says uh, Koichi to himself. Yeah, he's definitely not. Um, whoa. Some sort of uh, spider web appears. What? Calm yourself, good people. As this like web appears on this uh, lamppost. A string phone? Ah, it's them again. Oh, it's best genus. Why the heck did that attack look like that? Oh, it's... Is that, it's just, is it literally just, literally a string phone? Okay. Best genius, to net shot. Is anyone hurt? As Ingenium shows up. Whoa, even Ingenium's here now. Oh, dude, everyone's kind of coming together now. We have Ed Shot, Best Genius, Ingenium, Aizawa, and Koichi all together. Dude, they're going to fight some Nomu, aren't they? Oh, this is going to be sick. This is going to be cool. Genius, status report, says Ingenium. The details still need confirming, Ingenium. But to the civilians, I say this. You need not worry, says Genist. Why? Because we are here in your town. He, he kind of ripped off All Might's thing right there. That's kind of funny. Uh, yes, heroes are on the scene. And everyone's cheering. They all look happy. And they're glad. However, All Might is not here, says this. Says the ghost of O'Clock. I'm just going to call it the ghost of O'Clock. I don't know what else to call it. Like, hallucination? Whatever. Nope, says Six, all happy again. He is the only... He is the only true hero. No matter what the lesser heroes do, it won't amount to more than a mere rounding error. And now, a blackout and jam phone lines all at once. There's a chance this could this is a coordinated attack. Sukuchi is talking to himself. I have to get in touch with the head office somehow. But first, we figure out what's really going on. Detective Sukuchi, concerning the status of the special hospital wing, I'll be right there. All Might will never deploy over an unseen All Might will never deploy over an unseen threat. Hence Operation Anonymous. 
Oh, so that's why they're laying low. All Might will never deploy over an unseen threat. Okay, so as long as they stay hidden, Operation Anonymous. Okay, so that's the end of the chapter. It looks like uh, a bunch of the Nomu are gathered in the bushes outside of... That's either the hospital or that's... Uh, oh, no, this is Sukuchi's building. Oh, are they about to attack Sukuchi? Oh, shit. All right. Uh, interesting chapter. It was a good chapter. Uh, the no moves are different the highlight for me. I love how they were just like mildly disturbing people. They weren't even like attacking. Like these are like the, the most chill, like just jerk Nomu ever. Like it's it's kind of hilarious. Um Pretty short chapter. Only uh actually it was it was nineteen pages, I guess, but not a lot of panels. Uh these chapters fly by, man, I swear. Uh I recorded that whole reaction in ten minutes, like less than ten minutes, essentially interesting uh this is a good chapter this is definitely a setup chapter something clearly big is gonna happen next episode if they're gonna uh i guess episode you call it episode because they call it episode um because like we have all the heroes together now with koichi uh and then we have all the nomu grouped together about to attack sukuchi so they're probably gonna run to his rescue uh that's what i assume is gonna happen here so this is definitely a setup chapter the fighting is gonna begin next chapter so um yeah I don't have a whole lot to say. Uh, I, I, I would love it if, like, All Might showed up at some point. Actually, I don't, we don't need All Might to show up. I want Knuckle Duster to show up at one point. Uh, Ogro. Because um, clearly he's still alive. He grabbed his, his Knuckle Dusters from Koichi's place. Um, when he appears, we're just kind of waiting and seeing. But, yeah. Very good chapter. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down below. Um, I know, like, this... Vi these videos for vigilantes they don't get nearly as many views as my main series uh manga reactions do but um for those of you who do watch i really do appreciate it um because i personally think if you read vigilantes that's a good sign you're actually like true true fan of the of my hero academia because all this stuff is super valuable it adds a lot of depth to the world it's awesome and in its own right too um so yeah until next time, this has been Mighty Gazelle. Hoping you all have a mighty day. See you guys.